Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So as many of you know, with 5.3 update, we released the very well asked for feature, which is custom duration for your services. And today's video, we are going to show you how you can set it up and how it looks on your booking form. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, guys. Well, uh, as Olga said, the custom duration is here. So you can now configure multiple durations for a single service. Um, the documentation about this is under appointments, custom service duration, and it's covered in detail. So make sure to check that out. I will show you how to set it up real quick with existing services. So now we'll use the, the same services we've used uh, in the previous uh, videos. So in here under duration and pricing, this is the default duration, 30 minutes, price is $30. And here you can enable custom duration. Uh, it says custom duration and pricing because you can, of course, set a different price for a different duration. Uh, these increments are in the default time slot step, which is configured in Amelia's general settings. We've set that to 15 minutes, so you will see all of these in 15 minute increments. The 30 minutes is disabled because that is the default duration of the service. So for example, uh, we are editing the haircut service. So someone with short hair might need only 15 minutes. And the price for that would be $15. Someone with medium hair would be using this 30 minutes and a longer hair would be using 45 minutes. We'll set that to be 45. And that's it. Once we save this, it will update the price for all employees. Uh, however, when you have multiple employees on your website, as before, you can configure different prices for those employees. Now we currently have only John Doe, so the uh, prices are in here. And if you change them, you need to click on this um, pencil symbol, which shows you which of these services actually has more than one duration. You cannot change the duration per employee because that's configured in the service but you can change the price so for example this is an expensive um, an expensive barber so he will charge this 17 and 47 while you can also change the price for the default uh, duration so once we save that and we visit the uh, website you will see that a service with multiple durations can be selected in here so once you continue uh, if you want you can choose some extras but we'll skip it for this use case so in here under the month and the year you will see this drop down which allows the customer to select the duration of the service will it be 15 minutes 30 minutes or 45 minutes and it'll list the price on the right so if a customer wants to book a 45 minute appointment the time slots below adjust accordingly. So this is from 9 to 9.45. If they change to a 30 minute uh, duration, it will change from 9 to 9.30 and all the upcoming appointments will adjust. Uh, it's worth mentioning that if you have a customer that booked a 45 minute appointment at, I don't know, 10.30, uh, this these 45 minutes will block everything until 11.15 and until uh, 9.45. So basically the uh, next available um, appointment for a 30 minute duration would be at 10. So uh, you have to keep this in mind. Uh, when you book an appointment with this, let's say this is correct and save the appointment, that's it. We've booked for 30th September at 10.30. Once we go back and take a look at the appointment, we can see how it looks like in the back end. As an administrator, you can modify the duration. So you can change it to be 15 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. Here's what I wanted to show you. This is an appointment for 10.30 on September 30th. So if we refresh this page and book the same appointment, I mean the same service, but with a shorter duration for this uh, 30 minutes, we can still see the, uh, where is it? 10.30 is right here. As I mentioned, the uh, appointment has to end before this appointment starts. So 
until 10.30 and then again at 11.45 when this appointment ends. So if you want to book an appointment for, let's say, 9 a.m., we do it with a different name, continue and book another appointment. So appointments cannot overlap. That is simply uh, not possible. But if a service has a maximum capacity above one, in this case, haircut has maximum capacity of one. So we'll set it to be 10 and save and update for all employees because uh, once you save this, if you want this change to apply to all your existing employees, you have to click on update for all. Now in the front end, since we've increased the uh, maximum capacity of the service, once you continue, you will be offered to add additional people, but we'll skip that for now. And we'll just use the same date and the 30 minute duration. As you can see, the 1030 slot is now again available. So a third customer comes in and books the appointment, which lasts 30 minutes on top of a 45 minute appointment that the first customer booked. Now, this is an error that says I already booked this appointment. Why? Because I didn't change my email address. So yeah, let's try again. Here it is. So one customer with the same email address cannot book the same appointment twice. But in this case, you will now see two uh, emails. And when you edit the appointment, you will see that one customer is scheduled for 45 minutes and the other customer is scheduled for 30 minutes. Now, this doesn't apply to a haircut because one person can only sit in one seat with one employee. But in case you guys have custom duration and you have a longer appointment and a shorter appointment, once a longer appointment is booked, people will be able to book shorter appointments and they will be considered as group appointments in Amelia. I hope I didn't confuse you or you guys. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's perfectly clear to me. But of course, if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments. And also stay tuned because we are working on a lot of new and exciting features. So show, make sure to check out our website, our social media, our YouTube to know all of the updates uh, from our side. And uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye.